We celebrate people who survive cancer. We celebrate people who survive other diseases. Why wouldn't we celebrate people getting the help that they need and overcoming such a personal and such an intimate form of abuse as what sexual assault is? The stats are staggering. One in four boys, one in two girls will be abused this year and every year. Unless programs like Saffron continue to operate, unless they get the funding dollars to go out there, we can't change those stats. And what Saffron does is it changes the lives of individuals, whether it's children or adults, one individual at a time. As they say, knowledge is power. And that's what Saffron provides to this community is, is, is the knowledge to these kids to keep them alert, to keep them safe so that if one kid doesn't have to go through what I did or what others have gone through, uh, that's, that's a win. And I think that's a really exciting thing. When I was 14 years old, I was new to Sherwood Park. I made two friends, and they're both girls, and one of the girls invited me to her 15th birthday party. And that night, I was sexually assaulted by two boys, and like after that night my whole life just like did a complete 360 degree turn. I didn't go to school for a week because when I went that following week just to pick up homework with my mom I was just sitting in the office and there was a bunch of boys sitting there and they just like laughed at me and yelled rape and they thought it was just like hilarious but it's like I felt humiliated because what happened was like out of my control. I wouldn't let my dad or my little brother or anybody hug me for the longest time just because I couldn't stand having a boy like hold me and I didn't sleep and I didn't eat and I started failing school and I just thought like everything was just going downhill for something I didn't do. I was at the police station at least twice a month giving statements and having meetings with the officers and victim services and the boys went to court a few times in a year, this like dragged on for a year. My mind was somewhere where it's never been before and you feel so down about yourself and it really hurts to um, like to think this now, but some days like you wonder if you even want to live Coming to Saffron really helped me turn everything around in like such a healthy way. Like I didn't have to deal with it just all by myself. They are like specialized in sexual assault or sexual abuse. You're not judged and you feel really safe at Saffron. They're there to listen to you and like let you talk, but they give you advice that like stays with you forever. Saffron helped my family heal because my mom came to sessions and like she got to voice how she was feeling because my mom was really, she was probably just as hurt as I was. It also helped the rest of my family because every single person in my household were like dealing with it differently. I would recommend if somebody was sexually abused in any way that they should definitely go to Saffron because I honestly, I don't think, I think I could have gone to probably 20 other centers and they would have done nothing for me like Saffron did for me. I'm really happy that I chose Saffron because my life now is not what I expected to be back in grade nine at all.
I have come a very long way. I didn't even think I was going to graduate from high school or like do anything with my life, but I'm, I'm proud of myself for everything that I went through and I overcame it all in a really healthy manner. And um, I, I just want people to know that even though you're going through a really hard time and you think that like it's the end of the world, it really isn't. And I was lucky and fortunate enough to have such a supportive family to help me through it. But Saffron is like a family also. They believe that there is hope after sexual abuse, and there really is. There's problems lurking in our community, and, and sexual abuse and sexual assault is definitely one of those problems that, you know, um, just because of modern day media and the kind of music videos that we see and the violence that we see in videos and in movies, you know, and it becomes almost like, oh, it's okay, and it's not. And I think that's probably the strongest message to get out there is that it's not okay. It's not okay to cross somebody's personal boundaries. It's not okay to take innocence away from children. Sexual abuse follows somebody for their whole entire life. And they spend their life trying to figure out how to overcome the feelings of being betrayed by a loved one, by somebody who's been in a position of responsibility, or just the violent nature of what or how they happen. I hope that somebody seeing what I've done with my life and overcoming some of the situations that I have in my life, that they'll see hope and that they will want to strive for something better, that they can be better than their abusers, that they can have a goal and that they can achieve it. Don't let your abusers hold you for the rest of your life make sure you get help. And there's organizations like Saffron that are out there that are willing to help. You know, this happened to you, but it doesn't need to define you. I think that um, a lot of people's lives are gonna be affected for the good because of the work that's being done here. It's an opportunity for people to gain wellness and to gain courage and to, to stop feeling like a victim and start living like a survivor. How far will you go to stop sexual abuse? That's the question that everyone has to ask themselves.